Hello everyone, this is Creative Tech Consulting. Welcome to our channel. This is our first video and we're so excited. Today we're going to be talking about writing automation. If you're a writer or a blogger like most of us, you probably find yourself sitting there staring at the blinking cursor, your fingers aching from hammering away at the keys. There's got to be a better way, you think, don't you? At least I do. And guess what? There is! It's time to let AI take the wheel, or rather, the keyboard. In this video, we're going to show you a way how to use OpenAI's new GPTs feature to practically clone yourself and make undetectable AI articles that Google and Medium actually love. We'll give you a step-by-step -step guide with the entire process, end-to-end, -end, from training through writing, visual creation and publishing, to sharing on social media. Plus, you get the most important prompts right here in this video. And the best thing is that unlike the common use of ChatGPT with GPTs, you can now train once and use indefinitely. For this, you will need a paid ChatGPT subscription, as GPTs are only available there. Now, we are not promoting OpenAI because we are not affiliated with OpenAI in any way, although we'd very much like to be in the future, but not as of now. Let's begin. Step 1. Train the AI. Create your own GPT that writes in your own unique style. That's easy. Simply collect a minimum of 10 articles of yours and feed the GPT with them. Now, they have to be at least 10, but you could do more if you have the content. And if you don't, or you haven't written anything yet, then you could write something first, or you could ask ChatGPT to generate some for you, but make sure you revise them or even rewrite them in your own style. Make sure you feed at least 10,000 words to the model. The more the content, the better the training. Go to the menu of ChatGPT on the top right of your screen, then click Explore and then click Create a GPT. You will have this screen in front of you. Use the Create tab. We will go to the Configure tab later. We will start with a general definition of the GPT. Here's the prompt we use. Wait for the AI to confirm. You will get an answer from GPT Builder instead of the classic chat GPT. It will ask you to define a name. Give it a name and it will generate a profile picture for your GPT. You can also upload a profile picture of your own. These settings along with some others can be changed at any time later in the Configure tab. Approve, then continue. Next, you need to upload your training data. Use the articles you collected. Upload the file along with this prompt. If you have any other instructions, you can upload them too. For example, role, tone of voice, wording, emotions, etc. These can be edited at any time in the future, so don't worry too much about accuracy. Just test and adjust. Our suggestion would be to upload all instructions as separate files, one by one, so that it can gradually build the GPT. Next, wait for it to confirm that it created the GPT. Test it and adjust the settings if you need until you are happy with the result. For your convenience, here is a list of all parameters you need to have in the training. Then go to the Configure tab. It should look like this. Review all descriptions of the instructions and adapt them if you need to. Make sure you have all capabilities checked. Web browsing, DALI image generation, and code interpreter. One very important thing. If you do not wish to share your data with OpenAI, then you can explicitly make sure of that by clicking on Additional Settings and unchecking the tab called Use Conversation Data in your GPT to improve our models. This setting only becomes visible after you put some training data into the GPT. Step 2. Feed your draft into ChatGPT. Time to create a new project. No need to write. At least not necessarily. Grab an existing podcast recording of yours, interview someone, or simply record your thoughts. Just speak them out loud. Convert this audio to text with your favorite audio to text tool, and voila, you're ready to roll. Or just simply throw some words in a word file, just like when you take a note for an idea that just came to your mind. Don't put too much thought about style. The AI will take care of this later. Step three, let the AI create your article. Now comes the fun part. Ask your GPT to create an article out of the draft. The prompt should look something like this. The structure is something you could also feed to the GPT settings up front, so that you don't have to provide it every time. However, we'd recommend not to do so because this way you could feed the GPT with the different structure for each individual project. Step four, SEO time, titles and descriptions. Next, ask the GPT to create some SEO optimized metadata. Once you've selected a title, ask for suggested meta descriptions. Here's an example prompt. Select a title and ask for a description with a prompt like this. Step five, time to humanize. In case you didn't know, here's how an AI large language models work. They predict the most likely next word based on all the information that it has in its training data. So the AI will take a word and start predicting the next one like a word prediction engine. But a good AI analysis tool can tell if it is written by AI or not. 
Run a check on the article to spot any AI-written content using tools like GPT-0. If you've done your style training properly, especially if you have used your own data for training and also for writing, and you edit and proofread, then you should get a good result. But if you don't, well, just retouch the wording a bit. Even if you do, read the whole thing and edit, just in case. This is your name, after all. Don't let it down. And no, we're not ready yet. Step 6. Social media posts? Check. Next up, ask GPT to whip up some excerpts or introductions for the article that you can use on social media. Play around with this one social media at a time. Here's an example prompt. I really enjoy the outcomes. The most fun part for me ever. You get emojis and hashtags. Didn't really expect that. Step 7. What about the images? Oh yes, the images. We'd prefer using Midjourney. Tutorials coming soon. But you could also use the GPT. Here are some elements you need to have for a good quality article image generation. Add this to your prompt. Just use them while creating each individual project or just feed the instructions of the GPT. Now, if you have a brand, then you should definitely add your brand elements as well. Those are exact color codes, brand name, logos, target audience, demographics and lifestyle, business area, slogan, values, and everything you find relevant and important. And that's all. Now you have it. The complete guide how to automate your writing once and for all. But before you go, some final thoughts. AI isn't about creating fake content, not copying and pasting raw, unedited content generated out of vague prompts letting the AI hallucinate and create false facts. Low-quality content comes from low-quality AI inputs. Pay attention to the prompting. Be as specific as possible. This is exactly what Google and Medium is trying to avoid with their constantly updating rules and policies on AI. Low quality. And Google is not penalizing AI-generated content. No, just the opposite. They launched their own AI in order to stay in the game. It's the readers who will penalize such content. Eventually. But if you use original content that you already own, coming from your own wisdom, your own experiences, having the article written in your style, you can never go wrong. All you need to do is to make the effort to train the AI model in a proper way so that it actually becomes a version of yourself, writing in your own style, using your own wording. And today you can even use an AI like Eleven Labs to clone your own voice and another AI like Pictory to transform your article into an engaging, valuable video in less than a day. Today, sky is the limit. We already live in a passive income economy. People can much easily transform their hobbies and expertise into a stable income, be it a side hustle of even a full-time job. And who knows, you might just slash your article writing time from eight hours to a cool four or even two. And why not take it to the next level with video making? Believe it or not, give AI a spin and watch its magic. You might be impressed. We are Creative Tech Consulting. This was our first video and we're so excited. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and if so, please subscribe and also let us know what made the most value to you in the comments down below. And also, if you have any questions, just drop them in the comments as well. See you next time.